let's take a look at what's been happening in the world of sport further. Joining us in the studio is our sports editor, Paul Need. Hello, Paul. Welcome. Hello there. So let's first start with football. Lee Jae-sung is having a season of his life, it seems. Yes, yeah, certainly since he made the move over to Europe, definitely, yes. Uh, he scored two on Saturday uh, in a 3-1 win for Mainz in the German Bundesliga over Augsburg. The first came on 21 minutes with Lee poking up home a loose ball inside the six-yard box to make it 1-0. His second came after 52 minutes. He latched onto a long ball over the top and dealt with the bounce better than the defender before steering the ball into the bottom corner to make it 3-1. This was the first time Lee has scored two goals in a single top-flight Bundesliga match. He's now on six goals for the season, two more than last season, and the most since 2019-2020 when in the German second tier with Holstein Kiel. All right, and speaking of goals in Europe, uh, Oh Hyun Yoo has his first for Celtic. What can you tell us? Yes, that's right. He's now off the mark for Celtic, having scored his first goal for the club over the weekend. It was his fourth appearance for Celtic since joining from Suwon Bluings. Oh, scored Celtic's fourth and a 5-1 win over St Mirren in the Scottish Cup fifth round. It was an instinctive uh, striker's finish too. He was the most alert in the box to react to Callum McGregor's parried shot and tucked away the rebound. Meanwhile, over in Italy, it was another 3-0 win and clean sheet for Kim Min Jae in Napoli. But this time, Kim laid on an assist, his first since moving to Serie A. Napoli overcame Cremonese with Kim nodding the ball into the path of Victor Osimhen. Napoli are now 16 points clear at the top of the table, but have played one game more than Inter in second place. All right, and moving on to speed skating, another gold medal, medal for Kim Min Son. Yes, it's her fifth of the season and fifth in a row, would you believe? It came on Saturday in the 500 metres at the International Skating Union World Cup in Poland. She finished with a time of 37.9 seconds ahead of Vanessa Herzog of Austria and Kimi Goetz of the United States. Another gold in the next event would make Kim the first South Korean to top the podium at six events in a row. That's something that skating legend Lee sang was unable to achieve. The last event of the season is on February 17th, also in Poland. Let's see how she gets on and whether she can make history. And now to the figure skating, another goal for a South Korean skater. Yes, that's right. 17-year-old Lee Hae-in on Friday came first at the prestigious Four Continents Figure Skating Championships in Colorado. She finished with a total of 210.84 points to earn first place in the women's singles event. Lee was in sixth place after earning 69.13 points in the short program on Thursday and needed over 140 points in the free skating to have a chance of winning the gold medal. But in doing so, she is the first South Korean to take gold since the legendary Kim Yona. The Four Continents is an annual figure skating tournament for non-European skaters and it's been dominated by those from the United States, Japan, Canada and China, with 260 of the total 276 medals going to skaters from those countries since the very first event in 1999. Kim Minar won gold in Vancouver in 2009 as the first South Korean to win the event. All right, Paul, thank you for the roundup. We'll see you next week. Thank you. See you.